hear about him Please need to stop slacking. You said Amaranth Stalker? Oh no. This afternoon I was having a pretty good day, so I decided to ruin it by going on Twitter. It's part of my daily routine to check in on Twitter just to make myself mad, as every <laughs> sane person does no True. doubt. And today was nothing True. special, just endless piles of trash. But while dumpster diving, I found something pretty interesting and alarming. It's a series of posts from a popular streamer named Amaranth. She's massive on Twitch. I'm sure she needs no introduction. I'm positive you all are familiar with her work. She yes. basically invented hot queen. Time. And on her personal account, she made a series of tweets talking about her stalker. And this shit is fucking scary. It reads like something right out of a Stephen King novel. So I wanted to go over the tweets with all of you, as well as talk about the bigger Damn, she got a stalker? stalkers on Twitch. Because it's not exclusive to just Amaranth. I think Amaranth has had the most stalkers. She's had like a thousand stalkers at this point, I think. She's That's had like an nuts. entire fucking football squad worth of stalkers, and that includes third string and bench players. She could fill up an entire Comic Con convention center with just her stalkers. It's absolutely terrible, and again, it's not just Amaranth. Tons of streamers have talked about their personal experiences with the problem, and one that's always stuck out to me is a really frightening one. I won't name the streamer's name, but there's a streamer on Twitch who has had a problem with a member of her community for almost four years now, I believe. And this guy has flown down to her city, uninvited, unannounced, to try and track her down and find her. That's and while weird! Doing that, even broke into another streamer's house while they were streaming, went on their stream, and tried to use them to reach out to that streamer on their behalf to track That's her down weird. for them. That's weird. Yeah, Absolute I, I, fucking I was just about to say lunacy. that. I think it's Anita. And they have also, the stalker has also written a manifesto that's over 400 pages long and still being updated to this day. A, an actual fucking Harry Potter's book worth of delusion and all about like dating the streamer and all kinds of wild shit in there. It's just straight up horrifying and downright sad. So now let's go through Amaranth's tweets today. This is her alt account. She says that her stalker traveled from Estonia came to her city and camped out in a hotel with a line of sight to her P.O. box and spent over a month camping out daily at a Starbucks next to the P.O. box and streamed it the entire time. What? Typically to zero viewers, but growing as he gained notoriety. And every time his account would be taken down, he would just make a new one. This is already so much to digest right here. 44 days and 33 minutes. Just waiting. And I'm guessing that's based on how long the stream was up for, based on VODs and all of that. So it was probably realistically a bit more than that. Because I'm sure he was there longer off camera. So that is fucking terrifying. Not only was she being stalked, but he was doing it publicly to an audience. Mind-blowing. Camping out at a nearby Starbucks so that way he could be constantly monitoring the P.O. box hoping to catch her. Like Elmer Fudd trying to set a trap for Bugs Bunny. What the fuck? That's fuck? just the beginning. She said that he'd change his name by just adding more numbers to it, and by his own admission, went full scorched earth and sold everything. He sold his house, his car, all his possessions, his cat, and by his own admission again, uh, in publicly posted vlogs, a manifesto. The only thing he brought with him was phone, clothes on his back, and a saxophone, as well as the saxophone case. And he would play the saxophone in some live streams and in public places, and it allowed him to carry around a giant instrument case, which Amaranth said made her nervous because you can put weapons in yeah, an instrument case. Yeah, you could. Case. And I honestly think it's a pretty reasonable fear to have because it makes no sense that he sold everything else except for a fucking saxophone and its case. Unless he was planning on becoming like a traveling saxophone performer, like just going around and playing Careless Whisper forever, it makes no sense why he sold everything except that saxophone in its case. Which I agree is very weird, but I think the most concerning thing here is the fact that he sold all of his shit before moving from Europe to be near Amaranth and try and track her down. That's The fact weird. that he sold everything prior to doing all of this is that kind of behavior that people do right before doing something yes. drastic. Like True. something life ruining and changing the fact that he'll just cut all ties to everything he's ever owned like that the whole nothing left to lose mentality yeah. is absolutely fucking terrifying she goes on saying that she would make it very clear that she didn't want to meet him didn't want to be anywhere near him but he would respond by just saying liar liar fiance and would make dancing videos reminiscent of buffalo bill dancing scene and send them to her 
and then she posts a picture of it. This whole situation is deeply disturbing. What? And the fact that he would send videos to her privately is just super fucked up as well. Literally just rubbing it in her face that he is stalking her and there's nothing she can do about it because the law enforcement wasn't acting very efficiently here, clearly. And then the picture she posts is also super eerie. It looks like something straight out of the SCP wiki. Like, it looks like a goddamn cryptid captured on photograph. Yo. It's just an awful, awful situation. She also briefly mentioned that he adopted a feral cat, which wasn't really seen again on the streams, and then says that on Monday the 13th, he streamed himself uh, dressed up and carrying his musical instrument case and changed into formal attire and made the last mile journey to her house and cased the vicinity for 30 minutes, to which the cops declined to act. He streamed himself outside, mumbling about how he, he knew it was wrong, but he has to. And then he tried breaking in and tried to gain entry, to which Amaranth again called 911. To his house? Dis to her house? Wait, hold on. I gotta, I gotta see this shit. Bro, at that point... At that point, I'm gonna be honest. I'm not an advocate for violence. But at that point, if you breaking into my home, there's gonna be bullets flying. And I'm gonna make my message loud and clear. I'm gonna be like, there gonna be a couple straight bullets, bro. Because at this point, and especially if you're an especially if you're letting authorities know beforehand and nothing is being done about it. Bruh. Dispatch was rude, cutting her off, put her on hold, and it took 33 minutes for the 911 responders to finally get there. Uh, Amaranth did have armed personnel on standby. You say you residence. own one? Shit. I, I know how to get one. I live in Brooklyn. Well, I live in Queens, but shit, it's not that far away from Brooklyn. Let's just say it's not that hard to get one out here. Shit. According to her, she would have acted if he successfully. You just gotta ask in, around, bro. But. Bro, literally, Craigslist. You could literally just Craigslist. Hey, man, I'm looking for some heat. Come on. Luckily, it didn't come down to that. Law enforcement did get there. He got arrested, got detained, and she says the embassy was contacted, and he's currently not in Houston, and that's all she can share for now. That's Luckily, dumb. the story has a somewhat... Wait, but she live in Houston? Wait, can't you... Wait. Can't you just get... She live in Houston? At that point, get yourself a little pistol. At that point, if the cops don't want to do shit about it, bro, I'm look. If I was her, bro, she she got to defend herself some way, and she by herself. And you already know in Houston, if you're invading someone's property, Texas is different. You can't do that shit out here in New York, where like if somebody invades your property, you could just start letting shit fly. You can't. But I heard in Texas, if somebody goes on your property unsolicited, you have the right to bear arms and whatever happens, happens. That's what I hear. That's what I'm saying. And then I don't know, bro. She needs to definitely like, like, it's just crazy to me that, that, that she's alerting authorities and they're not doing anything about it. And she's in this situation. Happy ending. They got arrested and got kicked out of Houston. Hopefully also put behind bars. But there's a lot more to talk about here that I'd like to get into, and that's the law enforcement's response yeah. to stalking. One thing that's remained consistent across every single story of a Twitch streamer sharing their, mm -hmm. you know, their personal experience with stalkers, the one thing that is a constant is that law enforcement doesn't do anything about it. In extremely rare cases, they'll allow them to get a restraining order, but even that's... Restraining orders don't do anything. You know why? Because at the end of the day, if you have a restraining order against someone and they come within the 50 foot proximity towards you, what are you going to do? 911, what's your emergency? Oh, somebody is um, somebody is breaking the restraining order. I need a police officer or a police cruiser to come here at this and this address because this person is literally in within a 50 foot proximity. How long are they going to take to get to you? The person who's breaking the restraining order, they could do whatever the fuck they want to you. And by the time the cops get there, you could already you could already be harmed. You could already be deceased. The cops is going, you know, they're going to take a minimum of 30 minutes to show up if you're lucky. Restraining orders don't do shit. They ain't going to do anything. Super uncommon, it seems. They just don't take it seriously. 
I understand like stalking and like trying to act on it as law enforcement is a pretty tough situation to be in because you know it's not minority report where they can tell who's going to commit a crime before it happens or whatever you know they're not tom cruise and that's kind of the same thing here with stalking they're trying to prevent a crime or an escalation mm -hmm. without it having happened yet so they don't have all of like the evidence to tell them like it's going to happen so it makes it tough for them to actually act but i really think in situations like this they should be a lot more understanding and accepting of evidence. This guy streamed 44 mm -hmm. days worth of continuous stalking and harassment. And it's all documented, all of it shared. And yet they still didn't take it seriously until he showed up at the residence. And even when he was there actively trying to break in, they didn't show up for 33 minutes and didn't take it seriously. There needs to be some kind of yeah. new way of handling this kind of situation or it's going to continue and get worse. Another streamer named Sweet Anita also had a similar mm -hmm. problem with a stalker, except law enforcement was somehow even more inept here when it came to the situation. This stalker would publicly threaten her, send her threatening messages about how he's going to kill her, gut her, use a knife, crazy. and slit her open, and just like crazy, crazy shit. And in real life, would actually sit outside of her house and follow her around and even try to assault her. And still, law enforcement nah. didn't take it seriously for the longest fucking time. It's like law enforcement's hands are tied until they actually commit the crime and kill Exactly. Them. It's like they act when the fucked up shit happens. God forbid, right? Like, that's the only time when they act, when shit happens. And then I'm like, bro, we've been warning you the whole time. I've been alerting you and letting you know about my current situation. There's literal proof of this person doing this to me. But they won't do anything until shit happens. And before that shit even happens, it could be too late. They could take my life. And then they're going to be like, oh, damn. We should have done something. We were telling you the whole time. Person. But when there's this many red flags, why not act preventatively? Exactly. Like, why not have a preventative measure in place? Like, okay, this guy is publicly making threats, sending these threats about how he's going to kill her, and is actively sitting outside her fucking house. Maybe we should do something about this individual. So yeah, I just think there needs to be some kind of system in place to be a bit harder on stalking, where when there's this much evidence of like threats and then like actually acting on some of the things they're saying in the real world, they need to take that more seriously and be harder on it. Like if you actually show up, you're getting arrested. If you're within five miles of this person, you're getting arrested. Like I said, sometimes there's restraining orders, sometimes they trespass the individual, but even in those cases, it's pretty uncommon they even do that much. So I just think they need to be a little bit more uh, intense. You said if I ever had a stalker, no. There's no way I'm going to have a stalker. If I do, it's going to suck. And I actually would not want to have a stalker. But I'm glad. But I know for a fact when it comes to women, it's a higher probability of them having a stalker. Especially if they're like an attractive individual and they have an online presence. Like, you know, like Amaranth. She's, she's very attractive. So you already know, like, there's going to be, like, that one person that's going to be, like, if I can't have you, no one can, head assery. And they're just going to be, like, oh, I have to know your every move. I have to type of shit. And it's, and it's fucking weird, dude. On their stalking laws in order to prevent an actual tragedy from occurring. And it's happened before. There's you said retro too short to have a stalker. Reported, law enforcement didn't act, and then the stalker ends up killing the victim. Most recently, I think it was last year, and I think this was in the U.K., there was a teenager that reported a stalker five times and then even got fined 90 euros for wasting law enforcement's time and then the stalker ended up killing them. A complete failure. Nah. No. That, again, that's not an isolated case. It's happened before. I just think in general, there's more the law enforcement agencies can be doing that's, to prevent. Some yo, just me trying to process that. Imagine telling the police like, yo, I'm in trouble. And they're like, nah, you spam calling us. Here's a fine. Then you actually end up getting killed by said stalker that you were spam calling them for. That's crazy. That's crazy. Something like that when it comes to stalking. And then another thing that I'd like to mention is why there seems to be so many stalkers on Twitch in particular. And I think that's because, and I've said this before, you're interacting directly with the streamer you're watching. So for mentally unwell individuals, they get this false sense that they're now friends, and in certain cases, lovers. So a mm. lot of times you'll see these stalkers have the delusion that because they've donated to a streamer or they subbed to the streamer, they're now like romantically yeah, involved. Yeah, like they created some pact. And that gives them some sense of entitlement, 
and when they realize that you know they the streamer doesn't feel that way about them and doesn't even know they exist they start to get mad lash out and then you see all of these fucking wild crazy messages and these threats that they'll make and these meltdowns and it's terrible you hate to see it it's absolutely terrible but it's not like the streamers fault or anything that that's entirely just because there's so many people on Twitch some of them are bound to be mentally unwell and take these parasocial yeah. relationships to an extreme level parasocial relationships are bad no exceptions but they're even worse when the person believes they I have control over the streamer retro. or the possession of them because I'll they've be donated money in your now they're dating and, and all of this and then they find out that the streamer is you know romantically involved with someone else in the real world they they lose it thank you for the hundred bits and then ends up in these crazy stalking situations or whatever it's just nah it's it's definitely unfortunate i hope i hope nothing happens to amaranth i know a lot of people don't like her i like her as a content creator because it like i'm in the mentality of like whenever i see amaranth where 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 i've seen her speak in interviews and i can see that she's genuinely a good person she's just doing what she does obviously because obviously she knows she has the body for it she knows she has the skills she has the mentality like she's a smart person she she's making a lot of money she's doing what she loves honestly and i'm like yo it is what it is get your bag queen like i see people online hating on it but i'm like hey it is what it is like like i'm not gonna i'm not gonna stay up late at night thinking about oh man i can't stand amaranth bro I'm trying to go to sleep and i just keep thinking about amaranth like bro like, like, there's really people like that out here. Like, they, like, like, they will lose sleep on this type of shit. I'm like, yo, relax. It's not that serious, man. Like, let her do her, and that's it. Just move on with your life, you know? Craziness. I hope that nothing happens to her. I, I wouldn't want anything to happen to any content creator, obviously. Like, stalkers doing some crazy shit. I just hope that she's safe. Hopefully, hopefully, I'm just saying, yo, she live in Texas. You could go to a Walmart. M1911. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, M1911, go to Walmart. Be like, you want to come to my house? You going, you probably leaving in a body bag type shit. Not that I'm advocating for this type of behavior, but what I'm trying to say is you cannot be doing this type of shit. Long story short. But anyway, it is what it is. I'm not advocating the behavior, obviously, but what I'm saying is that you just can't be trespassing and stalking people and trying to break into their homes because you're obsessed with them. That's that that's scary. That is ridiculous. Um uh let me see. Uh Minty Believer. Yo, thank you for the um two gifted subs, man. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Uh, apoc uh apocalyptic beast. Um with the resub, thank you, man. You say I'm under your bed. I was thinking about my bed. I was like, do I have an underside of my bed? I do. But yeah, man. Um like I said, I hope Amaranth is safe um uh, anita i hope she's safe as well and yeah man we gotta we gotta stop this head assery man especially like as men like it, it makes us look bad you know don't think you are safe retro we all know where you live at planet, planet earth, earth. <laughs> yeah but but then you see like situations like this it makes men look bad and then like when there's a dickhead that does this shit to amaranth everybody's gonna now start looking at this dude and being like oh all men are this way right it, it makes it makes men as a whole look bad it, it fucking sucks it's like we can't fucking win it, it's so stupid but uh thank you electric line for the bits apocalyptic thank you for the resub uh minty believers thank you for the two gifted again nova blaster thank you for the hundred bits um you said the drake album dropped yo we listen all right drake album party drake yo drake okay okay we listening drake party Yo, how many songs on this? He got one. With, yo, all of this is just Drake. All of this is just Drake. Wait, there's two parts of the album? No. 14, 14. Is this like the censored ver? Oh, yeah, it's the censored version. Okay. This is the uncensored version. Okay. Okay, we about to go in. Let me turn off the AC. I'll return to a convertible. Retro this you? Oh no. What is that? Uh, before I even click that, what the hell was this? You said that this is me. What's this? When the f why do you have this fucking footage of me, bro? 
you know how long has it been since I look like that? Like, look, yo, what is, what, when? Bro, how do you have this? I don't even remember. I don't even remember making this. How the fuck did you? I don't even look like that anymore, bro. I look way slimmer, dude. You said retro had mad cash. I don't have that much cash. Where the fuck is this shit again?